is Caitlin and welcome to the very first moving series episode. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I am saying that right now. Today is the first episode in this series, which means I will be packing everything up in preparations to go to college in New York City and I'm moving out into my own apartment. So we have a lot of packing to do, three days actually. So today's Tuesday and I leave Friday. So I'm a little stressed out. I've already kind of started a little bit, but I'm actually in the car right now, as you guys can see, and we have the seats down because I'm actually going to Ikea. This is kind of bringing back some nostalgic room makeover vibes. That is kind of why I'm going in a sense because I am buying a new bed and some new furniture and some new stuff for my new apartment and there will be a new room makeover for my New York City apartment. That's not until later but I definitely need to buy this stuff before I head up because the tax is expensive in New York and also shipping is expensive so I'm just gonna get everything while I'm still home and then just drive it up. I have three cars to fit all my stuff in. My mom's driving up, my dad's driving up, and also my boyfriend. I think I should be good on space. Let's just get on right into it. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. I'll see you guys all at Ikea, and I'm so, so excited. Okay guys, we are here. I parked very close to the entrance, so I don't need to walk that far because I'm actually here alone, which is so weird. Normally whenever I come here, like for room makeovers and stuff, I'm at least with someone, like my mom, my dad, but everyone is working. And then all my friends who don't have like nine to five jobs are back in school right now because I am going back kind of late. It is, it is already August 22nd, so that's kind of why I'm here all by myself. I know what I want, but I'm just a little nervous having to lift that bed frame out of the warehouse house all by myself into my car. Fingers crossed that it's not that hard. I plan to just go on the bottom floor and go through like the product area and just pick up what I need. I don't even think I'm gonna go upstairs where the showrooms are. I'm kind of on a time crunch and then also I just don't need to so yeah. in the car. It is now two o'clock. I was in there for so long. All the stuff is in the back of the car now. And then it was so embarrassing too because I had to go into the warehouse and pick up all the big stuff because if you have ever been to Ikea, you pick up the little things in the marketplace. I didn't even go upstairs to the showrooms or eat. I literally just went through the marketplace and it took me forever. And then also going into the warehouse, I had to get all those big things and none of it was fitting in my car. In the last clip that I showed you guys of me pairing up my mirror, I hear the workers behind me laughing but then they actually came to come help me and the guy gave me like one of those professional like open cart looking like platform things and then laid everything out for me and it was still so difficult to push around but it was so much easier to carry everything rather than the cart and I actually loaded up the car all by myself I'm really proud and then oh my god the most embarrassing thing happened at the register I'm like punching in my pin after paying and my nail comes off it literally flicks off and I'm like oh my god I'm so sorry my nail just came off up. and she's like oh like it's fine but I was so embarrassed I don't know why because like you could literally hear it fall on the floor it was so silent like there was no one else around so anyways we are now going to head back home but I don't plan on opening any of the stuff I just bought because I'll just take it up with me like pre-packaged and open it when I move in in three days I have an hour-long drive to go so I'll check in with you guys when I get home I'm gonna grab a bite to eat before we start packing up my actual room. I just wanted to also show you guys what I got at Ikea. I'm not gonna do like a sit down, like formal haul. I'm just gonna show you. As you guys can clearly see, I got a full length mirror. It has like a frame, as you guys can see. This is gonna go in my new apartment because I'm not gonna have these nice long mirror doors to take photos or check my outfit in the morning. I wish I could install these on my closet up there, but we're renting the place, so we can't do that. In this skinny long box right here, this is actually 
actually my bed. It's crazy how it just fits in this one box. And then I actually bought a mattress for it. This is actually the mattress I already have on this bed. They're like thin little mattress pads. And because I'm not gonna have a nice day bed that rolls out into like a king size bed up there, I plan to put two mattresses on that twin bed that's in this box. And instead of buying two brand new mattresses, I'm just gonna take this one up that I already own and then bring this new one up and stack those two and then just leave this singular mattress on this day bed for when I come back and visit home. Then I got these wooden things for my bed. These are, I forget what these are called, but this is supposed to go in like the inner part of the bed. And then I have three huge tubs right here with lids inside, but these tubs are actually going to lay out. They're gonna fit under my bed because I really need to utilize as much storage as possible. And then I also picked up these like plastic sealable like Tupperware cups. I also got a plate and bowl set. Then I got these like shower rings and then this shower liner because I'm gonna be taking up my shower curtain. And then lastly, I got two reusable bags just for grocery shopping when I'm in the city. And that's literally it. We have a lot of boxes already as well. I think I'm gonna get those from storage and get those out. Hey guys, I'm back and I was getting a little bit stressed out like what to start in my room So what I ended up doing was on notability on my iPad. I made a list I just made like a packing list So this is all the stuff I need to do in my bedroom and I divided them up into sections And then here is what I need to do for my bathroom and then my kitchen The main thing I want to do in my bedroom is a closet clean out That's like the biggest thing and pack my clothes I want to do that first, but honestly, I think I might just do the wall decor And I just think it'll be super easy for me to take everything off the walls. Obviously it's gonna be time consuming, but everything's gonna be like that. I need to do a huge closet clean out though, and I need to do that today. I really don't want to. I want to do that last, but I need to do it today because for Depop, I wanna list some things that I wanna sell right before I have to leave so I can ship them like in a day or two and give a chance like for people to buy my stuff. <laughs> guys I officially filled my first small little box this isn't much but I'm gonna label this as like decor slash desk stuff I'm also gonna update my to-do list right now as you guys can see I just crossed off wall decor on my to-do list and I think next we're gonna do closet clean out and pack all of my clothes although before we get into it I want to talk a little bit about my iPad case, which is from ESR. And I want to say thank you ESR for sponsoring today's video. The case that I currently have on my iPad is the Rebound Hybrid 360 case, but the iPad's actually removable and it's like its own little case. And with the magnetic piece, you can sit your iPad like this and you can also prop it up vertically. This case offers dual protection with it being two separate cases in one with a detachable magnetic cover and then also having the portrait stand mode. And I noticed that not every case pays attention to that full pen to support having it like this. So I know that that's super important to me. This is also ESR's digital pencil. It's super smooth and super precise and has tilt sensitivity and palm rejection. And as you guys just saw, it magnetically attaches to the iPad. What I personally really like about it is that there's no complicated setup when connecting this to your iPad. You just double tap on the top and it turns it on and off and it'll automatically sync to your iPad. My iPad isn't in this case, but I also have their Rebound Magnetic Keyboard Case. You can pretty much work from anywhere like I can bring this to a coffee shop and do some homework and it has such a quick set magnetic stand It's also simple to use because the power buttons on the side here and it connects via Bluetooth It has premium laptop style keys and then also a multi-touch trackpad I also have ESR's MagSafe Orbit hybrid case for my AirPod Pros This AirPods case is MagSafe charging ready along with hybrid drop protection and a magnetic locking lid It also has a really easy carrying strap This stylish case also comes in multiple colors along with both of these 
iPad cases. So there's tons of customization there. They're having a back to school 10% off sale. So you can use the code ESR school for that 10% off discount. You're able to purchase all of these on Amazon and I'll have all the links down below. So I highly recommend go checking them out. And once again, thank you ESR for sponsoring today's video. I think I'm just gonna start putting stuff that I know I want to bring for my clothes in these boxes. So far, these are the boxes I'm gonna be packing my clothes in. They're not built that high, but they're definitely really big and spacious. And we just got these for free, which is why I'm not too worried about like the size or anything like that because I didn't go out and buy professional moving boxes because that gets expensive and we're trying to do this on a budget. But anyways, I'm just gonna start putting stuff in the boxes and kind of work my way into creating a pile of clothes I want to just get rid of. most of the sweaters I plan on taking and then here's some of the stuff I thought I was gonna take but I'm actually gonna put this back in my closet and then I'm already starting up a selling pile and I'm gonna start packing these up in this box right here. guys it's a little bit later since you guys last saw me i finished packing most of my clothes i still have more clothes to pack i also have a lot of stuff i need to sell so i'm going to take pictures of that tonight here's what my room is kind of looking like so i have this huge box of clothes and then this huge box of clothes i think i'm also going to fill one of these tubs i just got with some clothes and then my shoes that is kind of the update I'm currently going to go out to dinner with my friend right now i'll see you guys in a little bit day two of this packing journey and last night I did some more packing as you guys saw the time lapse I was putting away a lot of my clothes but I was just like not in the mood to really talk I was just kind of exhausted too and getting a little bit overwhelmed here's my progress with the clothes right here are my clothing boxes and then over here I have two full-on finished boxes these are all of my wall decor like photos and decor and then in this box are all of my bags and then if you go in my closet i'm actually leaving quite a bit of bags over here i just don't really know my whole space situation as well i don't want to bring everything up and then not have room for it i'm thinking of just bringing up the essentials and what i need and then once i'm up there i can come back for thanksgiving in november and take up more or when my boyfriend and like friends visit me i'll have them bring up some of my stuff as well now i'm actually going to be packing up all of my my heavier items. I just taped up this box together. I think I'm gonna finish putting up all of my decor in here because all of my posters are in that little box over here. But I have a lot of stuff on my desk that I need to pack up that are decor related. And all the stuff on here I need to pack like these candles and like more heavier items. I have stuff in my bathroom as well. Let me show you guys. I plan on packing all of my skincare and products up tomorrow, but I wanna pack this stuff today. guys I think the next thing we're gonna do is work on my desk I've been procrastinating on it for a while now I think I'm also gonna pack up all of my like camera equipment and stuff with my desk leaving my bed here and then also I think I'm leaving all the stuff that's in these drawers because it's mainly just storage although I do need to go through this it has a lot of my camera equipment and cameras and I want to bring a lot of this so I think we're gonna go through here <music> in the morning 
it is my last full day here tomorrow i'm supposed to be leaving we need to finish packing today i just woke up i didn't even wake up though because i didn't even sleep last night so i'm exhausted my eye bags I also got quite a bit of packing done yesterday. I like packed all the kitchen stuff and everything like that. I just didn't vlog because I wasn't honestly feeling the best. And I like broke out in huge pimples on my jawline too, which I'm trying to conceal. Ironically, it is my sister's college move-in day. So I'm gonna be helping her with that right now. That's why it's so early in the morning. guys today went by so quickly it is 10 p.m you guys last saw me at like eight o'clock in the morning and i thought i was gonna be back like kind of early but we actually ended up being there all day and then i came back here i had to go run to walmart and do a few errands i don't even feel like i'm leaving tomorrow i feel like i'm not going to until later the original plan was to leave at like 7 a.m and it's 10 p.m now and i still haven't fully packed i also had to do my nails they were so bad and i knew for a fact if i didn't sit down and do them after i got home today from my sister's thing that I would have not touched them for like another two and a half weeks because I know I'm gonna be so busy with my school stuff and now I can actually like pack all of my nail stuff I feel like my room looks pretty much the same I'm working on this box right now where it has like a bunch of random miscellaneous stuff that was in my desk last night I also got to this box going this one's pretty much done but it's my kitchen box see I'm a little bit overwhelmed just because I know I have a lot of stuff I need to do before I leave I'm also exhausted as I said this morning i pretty much didn't sleep i don't know i honestly might just go to bed really early and then just deal with all of it in the morning and then like leave in the afternoon but i know for a fact i might forget some stuff and i just i don't know i want to get it all done with tonight i definitely want to pack up all of my bathroom stuff tonight after i shower it will be the last shower i have in my room here so the rest of my clothes but my room is almost done. I haven't been talking much because my dad and my boyfriend are here and they're currently like sweeping out everything really quickly. So we're working really, really fast, but like my desk is gone and then I have to take apart my bedding. Here's what it's looking like. I'm gonna leave this here because I don't think I can screw this in the ceiling. I'm also leaving so much clothes. It looks like I didn't even like make a dent. <laughs> the boxes some of them are lined up right now and then also i'm taking another mattress for my bed and then look at what my dad got me has made basically a whole starter pack for me all this pasta and everything and like put it in jars and stuff because if you guys know the new york roaches are unfortunately a thing so we have everything like vacuum sealed nothing in like cardboard boxes that will go in the kitchen he's also like packing me rice flour sugar all of this stuff and then like laundry detergent and dryer sheets we also have like toilet paper and stuff too and then my dad got me a tea kettle so I can make like hot water. Um, these are also my posters. I don't know how this ended up here. Someone must have put them here, but this is like posters for my room. Oh my gosh, they're all up on my windowsill right now. officially packed. My boyfriend and I are gonna head up to the apartment and this is my room right now. See, it looks drastically different. My dad still needs to bring up these trash bags of bedding and everything, but it's so empty. We have all of these boxes that will be brought up tomorrow along with all of this stuff. Once I get there, I'm also gonna be giving you guys like an empty apartment tour, showing you guys my room and unpacking, but that'll be all in a different video. So that pretty much concludes the whole pack with me. I'll see you guys in New York. <laughs> 